The animal kingdom is full of sounds that people don't hear. Sounds that are inaudible to humans. In fact, most animals make and hear a broader range of sounds than we do. While studying elephants in the wild, Dr. Joyce Poole became convinced there was more going on than was meeting her ears. For many years, we've noticed on occasion, a female will suddenly freeze and all the rest of the elephants stop at the same time, as if they've heard a sound and we didn't hear anything. Or occasions where, again, a female at the back of the line might open her mouth very loudly as if she was rumbling, and yet we, we couldn't hear anything. And it, it really made us wonder whether, in fact, the elephants were making sounds that we couldn't hear. Zoologist Katie Payne helped solve that mystery. While standing by an elephant cage, she felt a movement in the air that she thought might be associated with sound. With equipment capable of recording low-pitched sounds, or infrasounds, that we can't hear, she proved her point. By playing back the tape at 10 times its regular speed, she was finally able to hear what she was missing. Nobody had listened uh, for infrasound among land animals before. No one had thought there was an animal large enough to make powerful low frequency sounds like this. And what it meant for the elephants was that they might be able to use it to communicate over long distances because infrasound travels much better than high frequency sounds. Sound that falls within the range of human hearing doesn't travel very far. It consists of short sound waves that scatter when they hit obstacles. But infrasounds are made up of long sound waves that bend around obstacles with very little scattering. As a result, they travel much further. At the other end of the spectrum, bats send and receive high frequency sounds that humans can't hear. This bat detector lowers the frequency so the sounds become audible. Jim Simmons studies bats that use these sounds to see. Each time the bat makes one of these sounds, it moves the ears in this back and forth pattern, scanning. He records the bats as they use a process called echolocation to navigate through wires and catch food in the dark. With a series of clicks and calls, they send out sound waves that bounce off objects and create echoes. The echoes help them determine the size and distance of every object in their path. What remains a mystery is how bats process sound waves so quickly. They send and receive sounds as high as 100,000 cycles per second. But their brain can only process sounds at 400 cycles per second. Simmons thinks the bats do something incredible. They manage to slow down the incoming sound waves. In other words, they slow down time. Our experience tells us what the bat does is impossible. And yet the bats fly around and do this all the time. 